Hello and welcome to Vinyl Four Decor's tutorial videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install on some more difficult surfaces. Vinyl can install on any smooth surface, although there are some surfaces that have a little more challenging uh, time to install on. So I want to show some tips today on sh installing on these surfaces that may help if you're having difficulty installing. Every surface is always different, and vinyl uh, will stick to them. There just are some uh, more specific techniques to get it to stick. Uh, today we're going to be installing on a piece of canvas. Uh, and canvas is a really good surface to put a project on. However, it's also hard for it to stick to. Now the reason why it's hard to stick and hard to stick with most surfaces is because of the texture of the surface. And so uh, the, the vinyl itself is only wanting to stick to the tops of the bumps. Now a canvas has the texture of the canvas that uh, makes it difficult for it to stick to. And so this will be a great example that will show on a canvas, but if you're having trouble on your wall or whatever surface you're putting it on, this will give you some good tips. Now there's a few things that we're going to use today. Always use masking tape to install. I've got a squeegee here. Uh, you could really use anything in the place of a squeegee. Anything with a nice flat edge, a credit card will work, spatulas, popsicle sticks. Uh, now, for the case of installing on a difficult install, I'm going to use a heat gun. Now, you could also use a hair dryer or, or any good source of heat. You don't want to use an open flame, but a hair dryer will work just fine. Uh, you, and that'll help. I'll show you how that works with, with installing it. So, we're going to go ahead and stick it on here. Uh, as we normally do, we're going to tape it into place. Now, I've already cut off my border, so this is for more difficult installs. Uh, if, if you're looking for a basic install, you can see our other videos, but this is for more basic or difficult. So I, I've already cut off my border. I'm going to go ahead and tape it into place just right where I want it to go on this canvas, uh, which I would do with any install. And with it taped in place, I'm going to use the tape as a hinge to flip it over and to pull off the back of it. So I'm just going to pull off this backing paper all the way off. The tape has already got it right where I want it to go. So I don't have to have any guesswork of lining it up. And any time you're pulling off the backing paper, you always want to make sure the design is sticking and, re and releasing from that backing paper. So as I'm peeling this off, I'm just watching. If I ever get any things that lift up, just push down on them. It makes it really easy for them to come off. And Okay, now that I have my backing paper off, all I'm going to do is, as normal, just uh, set this back into place. Just kind of pull it tight so that there's no wrinkles in it, and just set it back on. And always take your hand right up the middle, and then from the center out, and just smooth it out so that there are no wrinkles in place when you put this on. And I'll just go ahead and take my tape off and uh, go ahead and install this. Now, in, in the, a good tip when you're installing on canvas is I've got underneath it a couple pieces of tile. You can use anything, a book, uh, anything that's hard, but just so that I have a nice hard surface to press on, it's nice to put something underneath it so that I have uh, some hard surfaces to, to rub against. So, I'm going to go ahead and rub over it well. Now, on any difficult surface, you could rub over it and rub over it and rub over it, but it doesn't really accomplish what you need. I could pull this right back up off the surface. Uh, and that's because on these surfaces, when I'm rubbing over it, all it's wanting to do is stick the vinyl to the tops of the texture, and that's not enough surface contact for it to stay stuck. So as I peel this off, uh, I'm going to have to do this in small sections. So I want to tear this paper into small sections 
And as I peel this back, I'm going to just push down on it as I pull it off. So that I'm pulling back and pushing down all in the same motion. Now one thing that's challenging is when you're doing pieces like this that might have some swirls to it or connecting pieces, uh, what gets challenging is when I go to take the next piece off, it wants to pull off the previous piece that I just pulled off. So I'm just going to take this off in small sections. And then at this point, it can get challenging. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of heat to this. So I'm going to use my heat gun. Now a couple of key things when you're putting heat on. You want to make sure that your vinyl is in good contact with the surface. Vinyl is a plastic, and if it gets too hot and is not in good contact with the surface, it will shrivel up like plastic does when you throw it into the fire. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of heat to this, a couple of key things, make sure it's in good, con good contact with the surface, and then get it nice and hot. You really want it to be too hot to touch. Now my heat gun gets it, ha heat gets it hot really fast, uh, but a hair dryer will work as well. Now a couple things too, when I aim my heat gun, I want to aim it so that the air overspray will go away from the letters that I'm not working on so that I don't blow them off the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit of heat to this so that this is stuck as I finish the rest of my project. Now as you apply the heat, you don't want to rub over it, you just want to pat. And what you'll notice is that it will take on the texture of your surface really well. So I want to make sure I get it nice and hot, and then I just want to press on it. I don't want to rub over it because the material gets really soft and could easily roll up into a ball. So I just want to push down on it so that it stays in good contact with the surface. Now the heat does two things. It causes the material to soften so it can take on the texture, but it also causes the adhesive to cure of sorts so that it'll stick stronger. Now that curing process will actually take place on its own over a couple of weeks, but uh, um, the heat just does that kind of immediately. So then in that way it'll still stick better to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off the rest of this. And uh, so that we don't have to watch the whole thing, I'm going to speed the video up. But I'm going to do that whole process and repeat it until I'm all the way done. Alright, so there we go. We've got our vinyl on our canvas. Uh, it's sticking to it well. Um, I just want to point out a few things. Now, anytime you're having a difficulty installing, doesn't always mean that you need to apply heat to it. The heat is only used when you're putting it on a very textured surface, and the vinyl has a difficult time conforming to the texture. The heat will soften the material and allow it to conform to it to give it the surface contact that it needs to stick. Uh, so, a couple of reminders when you're applying the heat. Make sure your vinyl is in good contact with the surface, uh, otherwise the vinyl will shrivel up with the heat. Uh, and then also, as you're applying the heat, just pat onto the design, pushing it into the texture, which gives it that surface contact that it needs to stay stuck to your surface. Uh, so, not very difficult, but some installs do take some time. Uh, they're all different, and so this is just some extra tips uh, that you may need if you're having trouble getting it to install on the wall. Now, Also remember, you have to pull off the transfer tape before you apply the heat. Uh, with the transfer tape on the design still, 
It doesn't allow the design to take on the contour of the wall and get the surface contact, contact that it needs. So you have to take it off tediously piece by piece and apply heat as you go. Uh, if you've already installed a piece on the wall and it's acting like it wants to come up off the wall, uh, you can apply some heat to it which will allow it to stick. Now once it's on the wall, vinyl has a memory of its shape and it wants to go back to flat. And so the heat will help that to adhere. Now as I said earlier, uh, the vinyl will stick stronger to the wall and cure of sorts to the wall over a period of a couple of weeks. The heat will just speed that process up. So if the vinyl isn't able to stay on the wall long enough, that heat is a very good solution to get that to stick. And so that it will stay stuck to your wall. If you ever have any questions, always contact us. We uh, are very willing to help you out with any questions that you may have that may be specific to your install. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed this today. I hope that it was helpful. And if you ever have any questions, again, give us a call. Thanks for watching.